environmental groups and tribal nations are filing lawsuits against the Trump administration. The president reduced the size of two national monuments in Utah by two million acres, the largest rollback of federal land protection in U.S. History critics say he lacks legal authority to reduce monuments, and that it's wrong to open tribal lands to development. But others say the federal government should not control state lands, and that the people of Utah should decide. What do you think, Perspectives? President Barack Obama created Bears Ears National Monument after years of lobbying by five tribes in the region to protect sacred lands from development. The boundaries dissolved by President Donald Trump protected more than 100,000 objects of archaeological significance, including grave sites, ceremonial grounds, ancient cliff dwellings and the surrounding ecosystem. The destruction of the Bears Ears and Escalante National Monuments for mining is another national travesty for all Americans we don't need the pitiful amount of resources which may be found in these areas number Bears Ears number Escalantets, slash slash t co slash x s g z y p 8 h y a number public lands belong in public hands rt if you think potus should keep his hands off of number bear sears pic.twitter.com slash b s x q 0 o t 9 m f interior secretary ryan zinka hit back at critics saying that the federal government had no right to tell the people of utah how to use their land the decision was seen as a victory for states' rights advocates, who called Obama's establishing of the monument's gross federal overreach. President Trump was absolutely spectacular in Utah. His speech was profound and moving as he announced his signing of two presidential proclamations that gives land back to the people of No. Utah No. Antiquities Act No. Megapic.twitter.com slash 6HZNAH4U6F Many protested Obama's original designation of the land as national monuments. Supporters of the Trump's decision said this was a victory for the people of Utah over special interests and an interfering federal government. Who underscore uh, Trump scales back two national monuments in Utah, writing past federal overreach number mega at House GOP at Senate GOP at GOP at NRSC at Freedom Caucus at Speaker Ryan at Senate Maj LDR HTTPS slash slash t co slash jv8 fif xz pic dot twitter dot com slash 9 x k 5 2 l n s y 8 but environmentalists and tribal leaders said the decision was a victory for oil and gas developers not for the people of utah number patagonia fact check trump's utah speech and hey race a truth they highlight eliminating national monument protections opens these areas to mining oil and gas development road building and other destruction. It's incontrovertible that selling off rights to these lands benefits few https slash slash t co slash uo 6 bmd. The TYLT is focused on debates and conversations around news, current events, and pop culture. We provide our community with the opportunity to share their opinions and vote on topics that matter most to them. We actively engage the community and present meaningful data on the debates and conversations as they progress. The TYLT is a place where your opinion counts, literally. The TYLT is an advanced digital, Inc. property.